Opposition MLA Megachandra raises calling attention motion on ILP on the last day of assembly session. Congress MLA Joy Kison draws Chief Minister's attention to frequent power cuts and hiring of miners at Tukenjanit House, New Delhi. And Manipur Assembly passes the Manipur Hill Areas District Council Fourth Amendment Bill 2017. Hello and welcome to Impact News to Watching Primetime English News. I'm Kanguzam Shalira with the top stories and latest news at this hour. The three-day winter session of the 11th Manipur Legislative Assembly concluded today. Opposition MLA K. Megachandra raised a calling attention motion on the reported apprehension of hesitation due to non-implementation of the inner line permit system in Manipur on the last day of session. Raising the calling attention motion, Congress MLA K. Megachandra questioned the Chief Minister Nong Tumambirin on his silence on the issue despite taking a lead role in the past. He further asked him as to when the ILP bill will be tabled in the House. Responding to the calling attention motion, Chief Minister Nong Tumambirin told the House that the President of India had rejected the protection of Manipur People Bill 2015. However, the other two bills, the Manipur Land Revenue and Land Reform 7th Amendment Bill 2015 and the Manipur Shop and Establishment 2nd Amendment Bill 2015, are still waiting for the President's assent. He further said the new ILP bill will take some more time as the stakeholders from different communities need to be consulted prior to drafting of the bill. MLA K. Megachandra further praised his point stating that people of the state and the JC ILPS are demanding presentation of a bill in the winter session. He said in 1948 there were around 2,000 non-locals and now there are more than 9 lakhs. He further said that enrolling non-locals in the electoral rolls and people from outside the state running big business in the state can cause a threat to the local populace in the future. Chief Minister Nongtama Biren stated that had the people of the state including be greatly concerned for the welfare of the indigenous people, then the situation might have been much better. He further said the unchecked enrollment of non-locals by the officers and politicians are responsible for the increase in the number of non-locals. Biren said police have sent back people without proper documents from entering the state at Jiribam. Besides, police posts are being opened at places like Mao, Mori, Ukrul and Chorchampur in order to check persons with proper documents from entering the state. Raising a calling attention motion in the House, MLA K. H. Joy Kisan Singh drew the attention of the Chief Minister to frequent power cuts and hiring of minors at the Tikendrajit House in New Delhi. The Congress MLA said that the Tipura, Andamount and Nicobar guest houses situated in the neighborhood do not have such problems. Responding to the calling attention motion, Biren told the Assembly that it is indeed a great mistake to solely depend on electricity for power supply. He said a generator which was procured way back in 2001 was never used. He assured that the house that the building will soon be renovated and a new generator will be installed within two months. Earlier, Joy Kishan raised an issue regarding the death of Chanam Pravis at Noida in UP during the Jero Hour. He asked the Chief Minister whether the case has been referred to CBI as promised. Chief Minister Biren stated that he has met the GSC formed against the death of Chanam Prabhis. He informed the members that he has returned to his UP counterpart to refer the case to CBI. No risky people is not only for Manipur. India is the second citizen of India. So far, I Manipur government Honorable Minister, details human organ, I am very happy to be here. 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 I
I moy family J C the so di chiti to pija ke ban. Shmai ta guna mi asuk suspend ta ore mi asuk thikali shmai ta ore shmai ta ore. Tangai further de koi C B I de shina ge hai man. Ada ki diya mo adi matung da ikui ikui di. Tara ni kui mangal am bade ge aina. Faria do diye na toro kan de koi C B I de shine biu yara ge diye na is chiti ma officially igre hai tar. Hang bika da ba honourable. Question on the Integrated Child Development Scheme (ICDS), Mandrega, Hill House Tax, Mortality Rate, etc., were raised during the question hour. Congress MLA K H Joykison asked whether the procuring of kids for preschool under ICDS was done through e-tender. Social Welfare Minister Nemcha Kipgen told the House that the procurement of preschool kids under ICDS is done through e-tender. MLA Suraj Kumar Okram asked about the average working days in rural household under Mandrega for 2017-18 and if the centre has reduced its share in the scheme. Rural Development and Panchayati Ras Minister Tongam Bishwazid said the average number of working days was 17.89 lakh person days and that the centre has not reduced its share in the scheme. Dr. Chaltoliant Amo asks if the government refused to accept hilled house tax of some villages in Jiribam district. Revenue Minister K. Shyam said, surveyed revenue village under Manipur Land Revenue and Land Reforms Act 1960 are to pay land revenue only and that taxes were not collected as survey is going on and the government will not revoke the survey. Replying to Suras Kumar on the present status of the infant mortality rate of Manipur, Health Minister L. Jant Kumar told the Assembly that Manipur ranked third in the country. He said the shortage of staff in health sector will be solved when the recruitment process of doctors, nurses and left technicians is completed. Mohammed Abdul Nazir asked about the source of the earth used for embankment of river banks during floods and total amount of funds sanctioned to repair the damage caused by the floods. IFCD Minister Ledbao Hawkeep responded that art from any available source was used and the amount sanctioned for the peer repair works was 10 crore rupees. In response to a supplementary question by the same member, Chief Minister Nongtumambirin said the government worked day and night to control the damages caused during the recent floods. He said the court restricted the removal of the art from the hills. However, the government has identified some hills from where art will be collected for restoration of riverbanks before the onset of next monsoon. Survey to ba lam survey to ba hebasi yam na tangai phada bani hebasi isan sudum khang di khang bani aduga tauri babu hozi double tax pibiri piri lowri basi sarkar na si bu hau na bra si ni da koi na khang ning basi ha na hau ki bade zahi mayamama adi nine MLR LR A ki makha 1960 ki makha da adi ngasai ki survey to ruba lens the hill house tax piram magazu. सरकार है बस दी छोरम बदु सुम्भोना बहुना बस नहीं आकोई तो तरकार हुए दी हिल हाउस तेरे छिरमी से सर्वेर लेन हो रखा आदु मिस्टेक अमल लेर मने कराई देनो कम्युनिकेशन गेप हम सोई लेर मने है जरी बा मतो कोई गांव में ना फाइनल टॉर्क है सो शांतपुर की डिस्ट्रिक्ट की और फैजरों की मनुंग दलाई बदा स Kayam yam na soksil lagi, ama sung masih matangi saudah tieng na bangang badra, singgi lebak yaudah na isah isah gisar, aigi inkol lejari bayi gium lejari bado, adu pulap puna tau thua gususar, hundred meters thon bago na roy hai basa. Eh capca na kengi lilong, kuai cau na kai bani si, fajar na hap bani si la, adu na, si si la na logi guno, lebak logi bayi si di. Kod ki, adu mba lai bani na koi owner ba CM ga kari ga, Forest Mantri ga kod ka tana ra kanda Koi ki yam na tangai phada ba Turiyan Kumbang Singh si ki si na bam Kari tau si ki si akhoi mayam tana ra kanda si Som da tau si na thamza ki Lambi si yam basu lai bakra hai di loog duri Dure loog na maan thol su ka hai di loog duri na koi kan na Kod ra ikhoi apil toro ga masim ta di Sumaita unna koi Lebar kisi tangai pada nama si tu relong nama si matang nong tarik nengai tu peluk tu boleh ada bni lambi je si mung tu boleh ada bni nak kau api lama tau gen nak kena kena dia tu kata dia house itu tak muncul bni. Deputy Chief Minister who also holds the finance portfolio Yumnam Joy Kumar tabled the appropriation account 2016-17. Finance Account Volume 1 2016-17, Finance Account Volume 2 and Accounts at a Glance 2016-17 today. 
As referred by the House on its meeting on December 20, Chairman of Hill Areas Committee, MLAT Tang Jalem Haukit, placed before the House the Hill Areas Committee's report on the Manipur Hill Areas District Council Fourth Amendment Bill 2017. Minister N. Kayishi raised a motion to discuss and pass the Manipur Hill Areas District Council Fourth Amendment Bill 2017. Speaker Yumnang Kamchan asked the member if they have no objection to the bill being passed. The Speaker also placed before the House to adopt unanimously the amendment of Article 3 of the Indian Constitution and Resolution No. 119 taken on July 21 this year in connection with the Framework Agreement. The Speaker declared unanimous adoption of the resolution by all members in the House. Representatives of civil society organizations of Manipur have been meeting leaders of different political parties in the nation capitals regarding the framework agreement signed between the government of India and the ancient IM. They met the interlocutor of the Nagapi's talk, RN Trabi, today. The interlocutor assured the representatives that the final solution of the framework agreement can be attained only when all concerned reach an agreement on the issue. Sources said RN Trabi stated that if the final resolution concerned the states of Manipur, Assam and Arunachal Pradesh, the people and governments of these three states will not be left out but they will be consulted. He added that the three states are stakeholders and their consent are mandatory for reaching the final resolution. He made it clear that if the government of the India does not respect this thing, there is apprehension of the great unhabit and the central center should be responsible for any consequences. On being asked what action the government of the India has taken regarding the issue, Ravi responded that the center has not finalized anything so far and it will look minutely into the issue. asserted that the issue of framework agreement is not a conflict between the Maite and the Naga alone. The committee appealed to all communities to fight collectively to protect the integrity of the state. Speaking to media person at a Mokok office, Hatta president of the committee, S.M. Jalan said the Muslim community welcomes a solution to the framework agreement. However, they cannot accept if it it affects the unity and integrity of the state. He said the integrity of the state cannot be compromised. SM Jalant maintained that the Muslims are prepared to protest if the framework agreement hurts the interest of the people. He appealed to the people to stand united to protect the integrity of Manipur and asserted that Naga community is an inseparable, indispensable a part of Manipur. Jalant said all Manipur Muslim core Organization Coordinating Committee has also submitted a memorandum to safeguard the integrity of Manipur to President Ramnath Govind, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, Home Minister Rasnath Singh, Union Minister Kiran Rizizu, Manipur Governor Dr. Nasma Heftula, Chief Minister Nongtumbam Biren, and Interlocutor of the Indo Nagapi Stock RN Rabi. Nagagi solution sida community singi masel ki marakta loina na Manipur ki apun ba territorial integrity amasung cultural integrity na singba da kai ba pibu na singba ki wafam lakpa taragadi pangan singna masagi oi ba mong da akoi movement tongna na bagi tamak chapchana thengna na bagi tamak akoi sem saraga leire loina na hujik chathari ba singba pistok ase akoi na yamna mikup na hom singna Students of Manipur University stormed the Vice Chancellor's office today, protesting his inaction against the miscreants involved in vandalization of a hostel room on the Manipur University campus today. It may be mentioned that Ms. Krint vandalized the hostel room of El Nilakanta, who was elected as Games and Sports Secretary of the Manipur University Student Union, Musu, in the election held on December 20. 
past midnight unidentified miscreant damaged room number 21 in Cobru Hostel number 2. They broke the windows, scattered the clothes and other items in the room. A warning, it is just the beginning, was written on the board. Students who took part in the protest expressed discontentment that some successful candidates have arranged Tabal Chongba and are celebrating on the university campus. The protesters chanted slogans like, Remove inefficient VC and Dean from their post. We condemn vandalization of Nilakanta's room. We want justice, etc. Later, five student representatives were allowed to meet Vice Chancellor Professor Adia Prasad Pandey. The meeting agreed on security arrangement for Nilakanta in case of future trades, compensation for the lost properties, the lodge and a fire to take necessary action against those involved in the incident and not to let non students stay at hostels. One day mass awareness program on Swatch Servection was organized by Infal Municipal Corporation today at Community Hall of Sagolban Terra Amudul Akam Lekai, Ward Number 7. Speaking as Chief Guest Director of Mahud, Git Kumar Nepram talked extensively about Swatch Bharat Mission and Swatch Servection. He said the flagship program Swatch Servection 2018 launched by the Government of India on July 31 is aimed at giving grants to all 4,041 cities and towns of the country based on infrastructure development for improved sanitation services and their sustainability outcomes, citizen connect and visible impact on the ground. As part of the program, volunteers of Municipal Corporation held green bucket demonstration on how to turn waste materials into fertilizers. Department of Surgery Janems conducted a program on continuation medical education on disease organ transplantation at Janems Auditorium for on part today. Janems Director Dr. T. H. Bimo assured that Janems will provide full support for setting up a full-fledged disease organ transplantation unit and an organ donation center in the state. He said there is a need for both the medical and paramilitary staff of Janems to undergo trainings and formulation of a national policy on organ donation. Managing Trustee of Mohan Foundation, Prof. Professor Sunin Shrav, President of the Imam Manipur, Prof. K. H. Sulochana, Managing Director of CISA Hospital and Research Institute, Dr. K. H. Palin, Doctors of Janims and Dreams, and experts from other states were present at the event. All employees of Janims, I can assure that we shall extend all possible help and full cooperation to move forward and start this process of disease organ donation and organ, organ transplantation in Janims so that this becomes reality one day in this institute, Janims, and our sick people in this state and in this region live longer happily. Manipur Muslim Welfare Organization stays a seat in this morning at Hatta in protest against the failure of the MOBC department to produce a white paper of various development and schemes taken up by the department in 2010 for the Muslim community of the state. President of the organization, Abdullah Patan, told media person that memorandum to be submitted citing their demands to the state government. He said the government has remained indifferent to their problems till date. He alleged that the government has suppressed the minority Muslims. Abdullah Patan also stated that during the Congress rule, the cabinet decided to set up a separate directorate for the Muslims. Senzam Kuno and Senzam Chirang Joint Development Organization stays a sit-in at Senzam Kuno Development Club Crown, demanding Harautel to be brought under Sekmai Police Station as the government gazette has declared Harautel belongs to Senzam Chirang and Senzam Kuno. The people also protested against setting up of Prigari farms at Harautel. A public meeting was held after the sit-in, attended by Pradans of Pumlo GP, Kurukul GP, Mayang Langjing GP, and Lairen Kabi Kadangbam GP. Member of Sekmai Protection Committee, Loitang Kuno Youth Club, Moibung Kuno Youth Club, and Kanto Youth Club. The meeting resulted 
to request the government to ban the setting up piggeries or any other farms at Harautil to arrest the culprit involved in the firing incident of the December 16 and to procure permission from the landowners of the two villages, Sendam Kuno and Sendam Chirang, for setting up or installing any kind of scheme or project or private works within the boundary of Harautil. Nupiland celebration Kodongpok Pi branch observed the Nupiland Memorial as part of the month-long celebration of 78 Nupiland celebration at Kodongpok Pi Mamanglekai Lampak today. Floral tributes were paid at those brave women who took part in the women's hesitation in 1904 and 1939. Publicity Secretary of Nupiland Celebration, Kodong Popi Brands, Peter Kang Jumba, spoke on the incident leading to Nupiland. Prizes were also distributed to winners of Nupiland Ningsing Lamzen held on the 12th of this month. It's time for a small commercial break. Unknown miscreants set on fire a house at Kaino Tongka Mamanglika in Bisnubut District last evening. We bring you the details after the break. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. A non Korean set on fire the house of Thong Nau Jum, Britain, 53 years, son of Let Thong Nau Jum Ibohol from Kaino Tongka Mamang Lekai in Bisnipu district around 7th last evening. Thao Dam To Ong Bi, the Neshwari wife of Thao Dam Britain, told Impact News that she went out to fetch water from the house of her brother-in-law located in the neighborhood after she prepared dinner and within a span of 10 minutes, she heard cries of the house being set on fire. She hurried and showed that it was her house and tried her best to save her belongings. Properties worth 3 lakh rupees have been destroyed in the fire. Oinamt MLA El Radha Kishore extended an assistant of 20,000 rupees and 5 ZCI bundles to the family. Kaino Gram Panchayat also gave an assistant of rupees 5,000 to the family. Fifty-seven BPL families from Nompok Semai were provided free gas connection under Pradhan Mantri Uzwala Yosna PMUY scheme. MS Nompok Semai JCD Indian Gramit B Truck Thobal distributed the gas connection to the beneficiaries yesterday. APMUY awareness program to come to LPG Safety Clinic was also conducted at the event. Speaking as chief guest, SDO Tobal Dr. M. Beatty said, Pradhan Mantri Uzwala Yosna aimed at providing free gas connection to the BPL women in villages to avoid use of firewood to prevent pollution. The scheme provides free gas connection, all that includes cylinder regulator worth Rs. 1600. A solo exhibition of paintings of Rabi Prakas, Robi, and Title, Beauty and Fragrance opened today at Books and Coffee at Singzama Yunam Tlaikai. Altogether, eight paintings were on display at the exhibition. Chairman of the MPSC, Lieutenant General, retired, Consumed Himalaya, Director IPR, K. Mega Chandra, and several distinguished persons were present at the event. Rabi Prakas is an emerging young artist of Manipur. He completed Bachelor of Fine Arts from Delhi School of Arts. Manipuri feature film I Say Nangi Latabra was launched today at an event held at Yuremba Makha Awang Kuno Umamang Klaikai with Film Forum Manipur Chairman S. Magol Jao as the chief guest. Editor in chief of Impact News Yumnam Rupa Chandra and Pradhan of Awang Kuno Dizamani Thaudam were among those present at the event. The film is the third production of the Evening Star Film Production, a media partner of the Impact TV, and Sana Horakjum first production. A romantic thriller, the film is directed by Bobby Haubam, Mukabala, Silhaiba, Archina, and Itoi were the lead artists of the film. The press show of the film, Lanbungda Punsi Leipult was held today at the residence of Dandras Kondramt at Uripok Sorbontingen. The film is the third production of Poiringan B Film Production. Speaking at the event, director of the film, Dandras Kondram, said, The main objective of making the film was to promote young talents. The family drama film is produced by TH Asalata, Ratanlai, Gaitri, Asalata, Kube and Icho are the main cast.
A ninth state level Lauroi Festival kick off today at IWSC Crown Kumbong Awang Sambal. The two day festival is organized by state level Lauroi Festival Observation Committee SLLFOC on the theme Honoring Farmers and Mother Earth. Speaking on the occasion, convener of the committee KH Binasaki stated that the age old tradition of sowing and harvest have disappeared gradually. She said all need to pay due attention to the shrinking of the agricultural lands and drop in the number of farmers in the state. She also said that the festival is organized to preserve and revive the age-old tradition, showing and harvesting methods. Pena Saisa, Kongjom Parba, Tangta, Laurok Jagoi, Pakong Chanaba, Kulang Ishei and Laurok Ishei will be performed as part of the festival. เอ่อไปได้ซอกไว้เมสินะยายกีบะอะคุยนะพักเลนทาระกะคุยกีลาวรอยกีอย่ามนะพะจะบะกุมัยไหตาเรพาวอ่ะคุยกีซารูเอ
Thongju Patu and UNESCO Club Manipur organized a felicitation. Lili Chenu donated 10,000 rupees to an electric shock victim from Tarao, who is now undergoing treatment at Ras Medicity through Maicho Taret and Bircharya Maitei Charitable Trust. The two southernmost teams in the Indian Super League ISL class as Chennai and FC welcomed Kerala Blaster to the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium in Chennai this evening. Chennai and FC will play against Kerala Blaster at Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium Chennai tonight 8-8. Yesterday, Jamsetpur FC handed Bangalore FC their second successive defeat at home as the visitor grinded out 1-0 victory in the battle of the deputants at the Sri Kanti Rava Stadium in Bangalore. Bangalore FC were keen to get back to winning ways after their defeat against Chennai and FC in the previous game. The host started well but Jamsepur FC had the last laugh with a dramatic winner in the 90th minute of play. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Opposition MLA Mega Chandra raises calling attention motion on ILP on the last day of assembly session. Congress MLA Joy Kisan draws Chief Minister's attention to frequent power cuts and hiring of miners at the Kendership House, New Delhi. And Manipur Assembly passes the Manipur Hill Areas District Council Fourth Amendment Bill 2017.